Hey guys, coming to you today in beautiful Virginia and inspecting a log home. And I wanted to show you guys um, one more thing that I see uh, quite often and that's um, moisture damage to log homes. So let me, without further ado, let me turn you over to this wall here. And so what we're looking at here is an addition to the house. This is the original log home here. Um, and this is called a butt and pass joinery on the on the sides here on the corners um, this is a typical style joinery that they would normally use on kit style homes so anytime you see a, a, a log like this uh, this is a kit style home the log ends here are round so which indicates a round edge on the front and and inside so the outside this is the log that faces the exterior and so on inside this is the log that faces the inside, so when you look at the interior walls, you'll see a rounded log. Um, some people like this squared off, which would be a D log, so round on one side and squared off on this side, um, so they can hang pictures. Uh, other people like that natural look of the log, uh, but this is typically what you're gonna see. Um, and so, when I was looking at this section here, I noticed a spliced in new section here, and then, this is a spliced in new section, and this is a different style log than what was originally here. You can see it's a, um, it's, it's kind of like a rough sawn look. This is done at the factory to look kind of rough, um, which doesn't really matter whether or not they match in, in, in the face here. Um, what matters is if they did it correctly. Um, and so what I'm seeing is that they didn't complete the the repair here correctly and as a result there's been some additional damage and so what you're going to look for when you when you so here's my ice pick i use an ice pick i like an ice pick with with a metal backing on it um so so when you tap on the wood you want to hear that nice dense sound if you can hear that but as I tap further down, obviously a woodpecker has gotten into this, but um, you can hear that. It's, it's just dull and hollow sounding. And you can actually push on it. I don't want to cause too much damage other than what the woodpeckers caused. So what has happened here is what, uh, water has gotten into the log causing rot. And when you have a moisture content like that, um, it just rings a dinner bell for wood destroying insects. So unfortunately, there's been some carpenter ants that are inside of here. Um, but what happens is it compresses this log. And so when these logs compress here, it compresses up top here, or, or actually settles out up top. And so you can see a separation in the chinking here, a separation here, and a separation here. And so as a result, if you have some settlement here and compression here, you have settlement up above. And so looking down the wall face here, um, I'm, I'm seeing a slight bow in this structural wall as a result of, of the, the, um, the rot that's down below. It's kind of like a crane. So a crane moves a little bit at the bottom and a lot at the top. And so a log home does just that. So when you have a little bit of rot down below, which is causing some com compaction there, or compression, um, making up words as I go. So if you, it has some compression here below, a little bit of movement results in a lot of movement up top. And so you're gonna wanna look at all of those factors. Inside, you can see a little bit of separation here. Um, right along the edge here, you can see some separation and movement inside. Um, but this is definitely something that's going to cost some money. For example, this particular log here, to replace this log, it's probably going to be about 500 bucks. Um, the good news is, the saving grace is, there's no tongue and groove. So TNG is not, not present on these logs. So you, they can kind of use what they want. As long as they match the size, diameter of the log, um, they can put in whatever they want, as long as the new log does not have a tongue and groove. But anyways... Um, I wanted to show you guys that. That's one more thing that I look at on a log home. Uh, keep in mind when you're look, doing your log home inspections or if you own a log home and you want to um, do your annual yearly uh, walk around, make sure that you look for things just like that. Take care.